Hi guys and welcome to TechFurb. Today we are taking a look at the RTX 2060. So, I said I would be reviewing this part about three or four weeks ago on the last video that I released, or two videos ago actually, uh, and this is the review for the 2060, uh, and I'm going to be comparing it against the GTX 1080 right here. Now, for those of you who haven't seen my videos previously, uh, you've not followed my channel, the reason why I'm benchmarking it against the 1080 is because the 1080 is the best graphics card that I have owned. Until now. So, that is why I'm comparing it. Uh, the 2060 is a card that is getting towards the end of life, at least in terms of retail sales. So uh, it's certainly not end of life in terms of performance. You don't even need to watch the actual review for me to tell you that. Um, but it is going to be a card that once the 30 series equivalent, you know, once the, the full 30 series from NVIDIA releases and if AMD releases, uh, you know, a competitor to those products, I, I, I would hope so, but uh, AMD's been pretty weak. Um, despite their new cards, their new cards that have come out, uh, the reviews that went up today as of filming, looks pretty good. Uh, it seems to be matching the 3080 and 3070. Um, so it's good news for AMD. Um, but let's ignore all that. And we're focusing on the 2060 today. So currently, uh, I did check the pricing today, looking at about 450 to 500 Australian dollars. Uh, I actually paid 500 Australian dollars for this about a month ago. Now, that in US dollars, uh, you're probably looking at about 250, 300 US dollars. So that's probably more representative of what you'd be paying in the US. So it's not an expensive card. Um, it is upper tier for mid-range. So when I built my Ryzen 7 system in 2017, I spent $400 on an, RT, on an uh, RX 480, uh, and that was a solid middle of the range card that cost $400 Australian dollars. Um, so 2060 is a little bit more expensive than that, but it is a much better GPU than the 480. So let's go through some benchmarks and uh, then we'll come back and discuss the card a bit more. Okay, so we ran 13 games as benchmarks, uh, just the 1080 against the um, 2060 at 1080p high. Uh, I could theoretically test at a higher resolution, but um, I don't have any sort of high-end displays to do that with. So 1080p is the resolution we're going with, uh, and to be honest, the 2060 is suited to 1080p gaming. Um, you can step up to 1440p with it. But it's not going to be high refresh rate. You're going to be looking at 60 to 70, maybe 100 in a, you know, like a Doom Eternal or a, a game where that it can make the most of the frame rates. But uh, I'm going to say this is for a, a high refresh rate 1080p or a low refresh rate 1440p. That's about where that card is. So without further ado, let's have a look at the benchmark numbers. So CSGO, uh, there is a slight advantage to the GTX 1080. Um, this will be the only benchmark you'll see where there's any actual variance in between the two cards. Um, but it is 21 frames per second difference on average. Uh, 1% and 0.1% lows are pretty close together. Um, but it is a victory to the 1080. Um, but it's, it's going to be the only victory. So we'll move on to the next benchmark. Dirt Rally 2.0, uh, this is a game that released in 2018, late 2018, I believe. Um, so it's been out for a little while now, uh, and the 1080 and 2060, pretty much tied in terms of performance. So, um, and this is a surprise for me because coming into this review, when I did the research, the RTX 2060, based on the launch reviews, uh, it was about 5 to 10% slower than the 1080. Um, it did come with ray tracing. The 1080 obviously doesn't come with ray tracing. Um, so there were pros and cons to it, but the general feeling was it at launch was just, it wasn't a great deal. Um, the 20 series in general was not a great deal because you were getting the same performance for the same price. So why would you upgrade? But that's in the past now. Um, we're finally seeing price of performance jump forward massively with the 30 series and um, AMD 
cards, although they're a bit hard to get at the moment. Um, but that's where things are. Now, we're going to quickly rattle through these next benchmarks because there is no difference in between. So, F1 2019, GTA 5, PUBG, Apex Legends, Battlefield 5, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Far Cry New Dawn, Ghost Recon Breakpoint. I'm going to pause here. This was the only other game that sh showed any minor difference. Uh, and it was a victory to the 2060 by 4 frames per second on average. It is at 42 frames per second, so technically it's a 5% margin. But given that it was 42 on average versus 38, I'm going to say we're within margin of error territory. So minor victory of the 2060. Um, and Doom Eternal... Same again, uh, slight victory technically, but when you're at 200 plus frames per second, 10, 10 frames, you're not going to notice it. Uh, Outer Worlds, same deal. So, um, I wanted to have more to say, more to analyse there, but um, there really isn't. The RTX 2060 is a genuine replacement for the 1080, and it took two years, uh, given that it's now late 2020, November 2020, but it is now at the performance level of the 1080 at a reasonable price. So you're paying $450 to $500, but it's a better deal than the GTX 1080. You, you, on the used market, 1080s are going for about $400, $500, $600. They've held their value quite well. Um, they're also reasonably hard to come by because people up until this point haven't had a reason to upgrade, but 30 series is, is finally fleshing out that demand. So, RTX 2060 in November of 2020. Should you buy this card? Yeah. We're going to go with that. We're going to go with... Yeah. Not yes. Not no. Not maybe. Yeah. What I mean by that? If you can get a 2060 for a steal, um, so in Australia, if you can get a 2060 for 450 or less right now, that is the best bang for buck you are gonna get on any graphics card right now because anything lower than 2060, then you actually do jump down quite significantly in performance. Uh, and for some reason, the, um, the, you know, the 20 series cards are dropping down in price but then the 1660 and the you know the the AMD equivalents have stayed at the same price. So basically, you're getting this compression of these you know mid-range and upper mid-range cards, where now the um, 2060 has basically made everything underneath it to a certain point um, poor value for money. So 2060, as it stands right now, is a good value for money product. Um, I spent $500 on my card. Uh, I don't regret spending $500 on my card because it does really well. Um, it's a fantastic gaming card. Um, as you can see in all the titles, you know, it's well over 60 frames per second. Most it's into the hundreds. Um, I mean, I can't ask much more of a graphics card at that price. However, this is where the yeah part comes in because... What I'm comparing it to is what is available on the market. There will be new products coming and they're not 12 months from now. They're reasonably close. You're going to be looking at three to four months tops. So by February next year, again, we're in November, I would expect to see a 3060 or something of that performance tier uh, come out. And given how good the 3070, 3080, 3090 and the AMD equivalents are, I expect that 3060 to absolutely wallop the 2060. So, it's hard to say. Um, and of course, I have no pricing data. But if you're buying the 2060 now, just bear in mind that you could be potentially missing out on a, a much better 30 series card but again, there's no guarantee of that. There isn't a guarantee. There's absolutely no guarantees. At this point, it's all speculation. Until it is released and you have a price, 
I'm just speculating. So, if you need a graphics card right now, and you cannot justify spending the 1000 Australian dollars it costs to buy a 30 series or AMD card, um, the 6800 uh, for the five things that was available today is 950 Australian dollars. That is double the price of that 2060. The performance is probably double the performance, but $1,000 on a graphics card in my currency is just, it's too much money. I would never spend that amount of money on a graphics card, no matter how good it is, because at the end of the day, it's just not worth it to me. So 2060, as far as I'm concerned right now, it is a fantastic buy. Um, if you need a graphics card right now, you should buy that card. Um, the AMD equivalent offerings just, they drop features and you know what, the RTX 2060 card's good, the driver support's good. Um, you're buying into the Nvidia ecosystem, which as much as people like to hate on how expensive the Nvidia ecosystem is, it's a premium ecosystem. It's, it's, it's genuinely worth paying that little bit extra because you get better drivers and just, it's a card that'll just work for you. Um, <laughs> to quote Jensen. But yeah, I mean, I'm rambling at this point. Um, I'm sorry I haven't got any more detailed comparison between the 1080 and the 2060, but the reality is there's not really anything there to discuss. Effectively, the 2060 is a 1080 with ray, tra ray tracing at this point. Um, and you know what? That's good enough for me. So, Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you've liked it. Dislike if you disliked it. Comments down below if you've got any suggestions or um, you know things you want me to try out. Uh, I don't want to just do one video with a 2060 that I spent $500 on. Um, obviously it'll show up in further benchmark charts and so on and so forth, but if there is any specific content you want me to build around that card, you know, you want me to look at how's it streaming performance, how does it do in I don't know, video editing or whatever, you know, whatever the case may be, leave a comment below, or um, I would highly recommend this if you are not watching the, this video like a week after it released, go to my Discord server, the link is in the video description. Um, I do respond to comments on the Discord server, YouTube videos, uh, my comment section has gotten to the point now where I just don't have enough time in the day to respond to all the comments. Um, so if you wanna ask me a question, the best way to do it is on the Discord server, link in the description below. So. Thank you for watching guys. Don't forget to get subscribed if you're not subscribed already and I'll catch you guys in the next video.